depending on your physique and the way you play golf, I think it's important. I think for golfers that are physically quite fit, I think it helps because there's a lot of traveling involved and it takes a lot out of you. And I think the fitter you are, the mentally better you are, better frame of mind. And I think you can ha last a little bit longer. Whereas in the past, I don't think you needed to be because there wasn't maybe as many events and much traveling. So I think for me, I see it as a big thing. I see that more important than psychology as such, because I think as, as if, you, if you feel fit and you play well, then your, your mind will be in a good state of mind. It I probably think. looks that way, because obviously how well I've done from as an amateur to a professional, but I think it's the same game no matter what, your just status changes, but I still feel like I'm an amateur, I'm just playing with better players, that's it, that's, that's all it is, so I think yes in a certain degree it is tougher because there's so much more about it, you know, sitting here with you and, and doing things like this, it takes, it takes up quite a lot of time and it's, it's important to manage yourself well. You know, as an amateur, you don't get to do that, but it's still the same game. You still have to go out there and, and, and play as well as you can and compete. And if you play well, then you'll be up there. But if you drop a shot as, in, as, as a professional, you'll move 25 spots down the field. Whereas if you drop a shot as, a, as an amateur, you might just move one or two spots. That's, that's the difference. I practice my long game more often because it's actually the strongest part of my game. So I feel like if that stays on form most of the year round, I'm gonna compete. Um, if I don't work on my long game and work on my short game and my long game goes off and my short game's not good, then I can't compete. So some people will say I should practice my weakness more, which I'm in the process of doing and building up on. But I think it's important that you still practice your strengths and try and improve them and, or keep the maintenance on that so that you know that you can rely on one, on one part of your game. And if your short game's on for a day, then you'll shoot a really good score for me. So that's, that's what I do. I think the individual part of it because I'm sort of it's an individual game and obviously turning pro after the open and Walker Cup and winning you know on in three starts and all the sort of crowds around that and the hype was excellent but obviously to share share a winning Walker Cup team with some great some great guys that was special as well but as golf's an individual sport and I'm quite a selfish person then I would say that winning in Portugal was probably a, a big thing for me. I, I, I was a bit too young for Tom Watson but my dad was obviously that was his hero so at first it was a great honour but then the more you got to know him the more you realise the sort of legend that he is and how how much more honour it was to actually play with him and obviously looking back at it now and how much how it sort of planned out being Tom playing with Tom who's named after and then me leading and then him having a hole in one and sort of being at Royal St George's where I've won before all of that put together, I think that'll be a story for the rest of my life that will always be right at the top. I think, obviously, mixing with the best players in the world is, is, is a great honour. You know, you watch them on TV a year ago, this time last year, thinking maybe, I'll, maybe one day I'll be there, maybe I'll never be there. And then within sort of 12 months, I'm, I'm right there. And I think that's really kind of a big jump up and it's exciting for me. But I think that's important. I think it's getting to know them and realising how nice they are and how down to earth and normal conversations. They are just normal people at the end of the day and people might get starstruck from them and stuff like that, but they're just all normal. They just have a privileged job that entertains people. I probably, every single time I go out there, I probably think, I'm definitely not gonna play well today. <laughs> but it, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't really, I have a routine, but it'll never be the same, it'll always sort of, vary because of practice areas, conditions of, of the facilities, the weather, that sort of stuff. So probably not, no. I did last year have a lucky ball marker that I won at St Andrews with and I put it in the bag the whole time and then I actually lost it at St Andrews okay. in the Dunhill. So it's obviously not that lucky. Mm -hmm.